any woman to be open and tell you everything in her mind without holding some or without hiding anything from you. That makes that woman to really be vulnerable and she really want to share. Most times you meet a woman, you see her, she want to give you one word answer. Most times, how are you? She will just say fine. And she will never want to maybe discuss with you because she doesn't have the urge, maybe that feelings that she can trust you with things. So you do it gradually. Just apply this five method. Get her to pour her out, her heart out and tell you anything and everything. Just let her get vulnerable. This is spell solution. Number one, always avoid the white trap. Stop asking her, why haven't you been taking my call? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? If you always use this why, it makes the woman to be defensive. And if she gets defensive, it makes her not to really be herself, come out from her shell. She wants to always hide in her shell because she wants to hide some things from you she doesn't want to because anytime you ask you use the why 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 trap you're always trapping yourself making her not to really share or tell you how she feels so if you want to ask a woman something you know that instead of using that why something you know she has been doing instead of using that why to get her defensive or to get her to feel you're you're building a wall between the two of you you just ask her that I've noticed you've been quiet these days. Hope you're okay. When you ask her, I've noticed you've been quiet these days, you're getting her to open up what the problem is. Why is she quiet? Why is she not talking? And most times, this why often puts you in a position where you sound like desperate, needy, you just want to force things even when they don't want to happen. But if you notice, oh, I notice you've been quiet these days. Hope you're okay. And I've noticed that something is bothering you. Do you mind sharing? So once she noticed that you're this kind of person who takes everything cool, calm, and you're asking the question the right way, my brother, she will open up and tell you what is bothering her and what she's really piling up. Then the second thing is lead the way. Anyhow you want your woman to really be open to you, start with it most times you want women to open up but you're always frowning carrying your face most times you want to always maybe take you want to maybe you want to lead but you want to lead with force when you are leading with force, oh no no i want it this way your woman will be enter her shell most times she want to act the way you're acting she want to give you what you're giving so if you don't want her to really give you what you're giving to come out with her feminine frame learn to be your in your masculine frame but then learn to speak to her softly calm smile and always be happy with yourself it helps her to really come out and be herself around you she wants to share everything and anything with you then the third one is have a reflective listening when you have a reflective listening it enables you to really make her feel her needs are important you don't just treat it as oh forget about maybe she's telling you something she's going through something oh just forget about it it's nothing you're really like trying to shift all those things that her needs does not really count her needs does not matter so when she feels that way she will never want to share but when she's saying something to you oh i can understand oh sorry her most times just listen pay attention to what she's saying or most times you ask her question based on what she's saying, but not really that you're asking her exactly what she's saying. Let's say, for instance, she's telling you that, oh, I I think I, I have a back pain due to maybe you came back, she's frowning her face. What happened? Are you okay? She now said, well, I think I have a back pain due to I've been cleaning out. Oh, I know it's very hard, right? Just take it easy. I know everything will be fine. This, you're really assuring her that you feel her pain. You're always there with her. You're always there for her. But once you always want to, you want to always make her feel that it's nothing. Or is it not just this small thing you did, which most of you men do? Is it not just this small thing you did and your mates are doing it? If you use such kind of words, you're driving your woman to the point where she wants to really be on her own. When she needs something, she feels her needs are not really considered. She's never going to share. She's never going to tell you about it. That is where you get them keep so many secrets from you. When she's open, there is every likelihood 
that she won't do some things because she knows she can't really keep it from you. Then the fourth thing you do is validation. Validate her. You, when she feels she her needs are valid, you value you you valid or she you value what she she's going through. You 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 feel she feels you want to hear her side and you want to really pay attention to her. When she feels valid, that woman feels at home with you. She wants to share. She wants to be with you. She wants to do things with you. That's because she feels anything she's going through, you understand her. And as you're understanding her, you try as much as possible just to be yourself. Just tell her what you want. Set boundaries. And if she's going through stuff, you're always there. That woman becomes very, very vulnerable. She wants to tell you things. She wants to tell you the ones that happen, the one that does not happen, the one that you're even not expecting to hear. She wants to tell you all. Then the fifth and the last one, be patient. Most of you, you want to rush. Everything is rush. You want to rush. Let her say it, her mind. Let her say it. Do not use force. If you use force, you will never get the better part of any woman. So if you use force, she will end up going back. Most times you're even talking, she's not listening to you because she feels she, you're, she's not being heard or you don't listen to her. So most times when you're doing anything with a woman, just know that don't be too pushy with it. Just give her time. Let her be on her in her frame. Let her have her own time. Let her do her things. You, you concentrate on your own. Do your things. Let it not be that you're just following her 247. You want to hear from her. You want to know why things are happening. Take it easy. Be patient with her. With time, she's going to get used to that. Oh, you have a life of your own. You concentrate on doing your thing. You have you, you don't do one thing just looking at her face, doing everything she wants. You also have your own life. This way, that woman wants you. She wants to stay with you. She wants to share everything with you. Most times, this is when they get to know that you are enough for them. So if you're being too pushy with women, you won't really get the better version of them. Or most times you start asking why, why, why. She feels you're too desperate, so she will never want to share. So if you want her to be vulnerable, you want her to tell you everything. Most times they will tell you, hey, I'm a shy person, I'm an introvert. Most introverts, they talk very well. They talk more if they are with you and they are vulnerable with you. If they don't know you, they are not into you. They hardly talk. So get them to talk, get them to share. This is Spell Solution. The goal is for you to stay in a healthy relationship and a healthy marriage. Do all to like, drop your comment or to think about this video. And if you're co just coming across my channel, my page for the first time, subscribe. Follow my page for more videos like this. Thank you.